4 News. We're bringing you live coverage here from the Utah State Fair. I'm Sarah Murphy. And I'm Brian McAlad. We want to thank you for being with us as we show you the sights and the sounds around the Utah State Fair opening tonight, open through the 15th of September. So plenty of time. You got, you got yeah. a lot of opportunities. There's a lot going on here. We've been showing it to some of you tonight. The foods, everything oh, going, the rides. So good. Lot. And our Annika Johns has something else to show you tonight. Okay, Annika's making some friends yeah. here at the fair. She Annika, is. tell us a bit more. <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly right. So earlier we met Cookie the Pony, then we met Brutus the Pig. Well, I want to introduce you to Lulu and Rusty the Highlander cows. They are two years old. Now this is their first time here at the Utah State Fair. So they are a little nervous, Miss Lulu over here doesn't want people getting too close to her but as you can see right now they are totally relaxed they're doing good they're super cute super fluffy they're super small they're mini Highlander cows and they are just absolutely gorgeous like if I I would get close and you know pet them all day long right now if I could I just want Miss Lulu to be a little bit more comfortable right now but these are just two of the over a dozen animals here at the Utah State Fair today so I just want to give you a little bit more of a look at what you can come and see later th uh, as we continue on through these next few weeks of what animals we have here at the Utah State Fair horses cows pigs oh my it's an animal frenzy bigger than ever here at the Utah State Fair so we kind of started by bringing just our moms and babies down to kind of give like especially inner city kids the experience of seeing animals and like getting to know them presented by the Utah Farm Bureau barnyard friends is an interactive experience that combines education with the overwhelming cuteness of baby farm animals so we of course have our baby goats our moms and babies and we have our piglets behind me and then we have our we have two sets of Highlander cows we have our Hereford mom and her baby and then we have a little pony a little mini pony and then we of course have our alpacas located on the south side of the fairgrounds anyone and everyone can swing by and interact with the over dozen animals that are calling Salt Lake City home for the next few weeks. You can hear the term, I, I'm, I'm sweating like a pig right now, but pigs don't sweat. They don't have the sweat glands that we do. They are actually twins, they're, bio, they're identical twins. They came from the same mom and their sequencing, their DNA sequencing are exactly the same. He's one of the biggest ones here, especially here in the state of Utah. From full grown pigs to goats just a few weeks old, the world of barnyard animals and agriculture is coming to life like you've never seen before. Just being down here to like interact with kids and like having them like first like see a piglet or like any of these animals that we've brought down is so like eye opening because you don't you don't see these animals every day. All right, so I want to give you guys one more look at Mr. Rusty and Miss Lulu over here. Oh, she's just trying to get a snack over there. I feel you, girl. It's dinner time. I'm going to get something to eat too soon. Rusty's just hanging out. He's super cute. I love the fur on these guys. They are just so fluffy, so cute. And just like you saw, these are just two of the animals that you are going to be able to come and see and interact with here at the Utah State Fair. I don't know about you guys, but this is where I'm going to be for the rest of the next few weeks. That's for sure. Sarah and Brian, I will send things back over to you. <laughs> we yeah. believe it. We yeah. believe she'll be there the next few weeks, don't we? That Lulu's a beauty, too. Yes. Don't, don't, don't let anyone tell you otherwise. And